If you are watching this video, that means you are confused same as the guy in this picture. What are these terminologies RRTB, MDRTB, XDRTB? These are the terms given to a TB patient who shows resistance to one or more of the TB drugs. Today I will be breaking it down so that you understand it in a very clear and crisp form. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Mohammad Hafiz. Basically, we will divide into three categories and how the treatment varies. First category is patients with no resistance to any of the TB drugs. Second category is patients with resistance to first line ATD apart from rifampicin. The third category is patients showing resistance to rifampicin with or without resistance to second line ATD. DSTB are those patients who shows no resistance to any of the TB dr uh, drug regimen. The treatment is duration of 6 months with isoniazid, pyrazinamide, ethambutol with intensive phase of 2 months, continuous phase of 4 months. The other terminology is those who shows resistance to one first line ATT. They are the monoresistant TB cases which shows resistance to only one first line ATT. Under this comes the isoniazid resistant TB. And other terminology is a polydrug resistant TB in which a patient shows resistance to more than one first line ATT apart from isoniazid and rifampicin. This is the uh, circle which shows the mono resistant TB resistant to only one first line ATT. Under this comes the isoniazid resistant which shows resistant to as the name suggests to isoniazid only. And second is the polydrug resistant. Poly means more than one first line ATT. The treatment is different and it varies. Uh, it consists of H mono or polydrug resistant TB. Duration of nine months, no intensive phase or continuous phase. Instead of isoniazid, you replace it with levofloxacin, one fluoroquinolone. If it's uh, resistant, you shift to moxifloxacin. Still resistant, you can shift to clofazamine. Now, if the patient shows resistance to rifampicin or any second line ATT, we have the terms such as RRTB, MDRTB, pre-XDRTB and ex extensively drug resistant TB. This is a circle which shows four categories. You should know that under RRTB comes all these terminologies. RRTB as it shows rifampicin resistant TB shows resistance to rifampicin with or without resistant to any of the anti-tubercular regimen. Okay, if the patient shows apart from rifampicin resistant isoniazid resistance also, you can classify them as MDRTB. They might or may not show fluoroquinolone resistance or uh, with or without resistance to any of the TB drug regimen. If the patient shows apart from the MDR-TB isoniazid rifampicin and shows additional resistance of fluoroquinolone with or without uh, resistance to any of the other ATT, you classify them as pre-XDR. If the patient shows pre-XDR-TB features and resistance to group A drug, one group A drug, they are the XDR-TB patients. What are the group A drugs? I have the mnemonic as BL square. Bidaculin, linizodid, levofloxacin, or moxifloxacin. The treatment of rifampicin resistant or MDR uh, drug regimen is uh, different. We'll start with a shorter oral bidaculin containing regimen, a duration of 9 to 11 months. If uh, this regimen is unavailable, you shift them to shorter injectable containing regimen. This regimen contains 7 drugs. No modification is allowed in this regimen. If suppose there is a contraindication, if there is additional resistance, if the patient shows additional side effects, you can shift to longer regimen. There is 18 to 20 months of uh, duration uh, consisting of five drugs, group A uh, and group B drug. However, there is a newer WHO recommendation showing MDR with fluoroquinolone resistance. Uh, with no bidaculin exposure. If shows bidaculin exposure uh, treatment, then you shift them to longer regimen. In this new WHO recommendation comes the BPAL regimen. 
which is the duration of six to nine months however which is under operational research so in summary there are three categories uh, with uh, patients with no resistance they are the dstb regimen uh, which consists of four drugs hrze and the second category which shows resistant to first line att it under it comes the mono resistant isoniazid resistant and poly drug resistant the treatment is re replacement of isoniazid with either of the fluoroquinolone and uh, the third category is rifampicin uh, resistant or a second line att under this comes the rifampicin resistant and uh, under uh, rifampicin resistant comes the mdr pre xdr and xdr mdr is rifampicin plus isoniazid pre xdr is rifampicin isoniazid plus fluoroquinolone and uh, xdr is pre xdr plus any group a drug at least one I hope this is clear. Thank you. Any doubts you can comment on uh, comment in the comment section. Thank you.